we want to thank God for his unspeakable gift of Jesus to man. Amen. Amen. And we uh, are here today once again to commemorate and celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ into the world. Yes. The Savior of the world. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to read the scripture you heard read in your hearing. And then we're going to get into the meat of the world. Amen. Amen. Coming from the book of Matthew 1, 18 through 25. And it says, Now, the birth of Jesus was on this wise. This is how it happened. When as his mother Mary was a spouse of Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Before they came together, she was pregnant. And it wasn't Joseph. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, he sure was. <laughs> and not willing to make her a public example, not willing to get her killed, because that's what would have happened, was minded to put her away privately. Mm -hmm. This is why the Lord chose Joseph. Mm -hmm. Amen. It wasn't Amen. no accident. The incident was ordained by God. He knew exactly Amen. what was going to happen and he knew how it was going to happen. Amen. And he knew that Joseph, whoever that man was, was going to have to deal with it. Amen. And you know as well as I do, if your wife come home talking about she's pregnant, hmm. y'all ain't been together, talking about it, the Holy Ghost overshadowed <laughs> It's going to be something else overshadowing you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Let's just keep it real. But we know that God ordained this thing. But while he thought on these things, Joseph didn't just let it go in one. He, oh, he was, he was like, oh, he, he didn't know what to think. All he knew is that he didn't want her to be stoned to death. And he said, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream. Saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary, thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. Yes, yes. Now that would be enough for me. Amen. Amen. Yeah, the Lord come to me in a dream. I said, okay, well, the Lord didn't tell me now. If I haven't already killed us. <laughs> but, uh, no, I'm just telling you the truth. This, this, see, we read this and we don't understand what these people are going through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A, when, back in that day, when you were espoused to a wife, okay, uh, the courtship was for a year. But for that year, it was like you was already married. Right. Mm -hmm. you, couldn't go, you couldn't be getting pregnant or doing none of that. I know it's different in this day, a lot different. But in that day, it was a death sentence. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And now all it says, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their, from their sins. I told you something wrong with that thing all morning. Okay. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall conceive shall be with child and shall bring forth a son and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which mean, being interpreted as God with us. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him and took unto him his wife. So he didn't say nothing to nobody. And knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son. And he called his name. Jesus. I want to use for a thought today Jesus okay the only reason for the season yeah. there's a whole lot of people doing a whole lot of things for a whole lot of different reasons but I'm telling you right now Jesus is the only reason for the Christmas season amen, amen. Uh, and you may take the season in the presence of the Lord Father, come in the name of Jesus once again to be used, Lord, so just let your will be done today. Move me out of the way and let your spirit have its way. Bless your people that they open their hearts, minds, and ears. 
that they might receive your word today, that they might be edified and you be glorified. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Every year we deal with this, these scriptures. There's several dealing with the birth of Jesus. Uh, we talked about last week how the enemy, the enemy from the very beginning has set out to pervert the birth of Jesus. He set out, first of all, to kill the baby. We know that. But he wanted to destroy. He came to steal, kill, and destroy. He wanted to destroy Jesus and anything that he had to do with it. Why? Because he know, and I'm going to get back to this, but he know that there's power yes. in the name of Jesus. Amen. You can pray, but boy, they don't want you to pray in the name of Jesus. Mm. You can say God all day long, mm. but when you start talking about Jesus, mm. but Christmas is literally Christ Mass. That's what it is. Right. That's what it still means. It's uh, similar to communion. Amen. And uh, in the church's celebration of Jesus' birth, they begin to do it. The birth, of course, is mentioned in the Gospels, but you won't find the word Christmas nowhere in the Bible. Amen. Amen. And we know we learned last week that uh, what Satan did was he took the profane things of this world mm -hmm. and the sacred things of God and he mixed them together that he might cause confusion. Mm -hmm. And his aim was to prevent us from honoring and celebrating Christ's birth. He said, if you're not going to do it on the 25th, you know, doing all the pagans, then you can't do it at all because you don't know when Christ was born. Amen. 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 But, you know, in, in about the second century, they began to, when they added that to their pagan uh, rituals they was doing back in the day, Cellianel, uh, right, they call it, the uh, uh, winter solstice, uh, they added that, but it was like 300 years before they did that. And before that, no one's birthday meant anything, uh, including Jesus. Amen. Amen. It didn't exist. But on December 25th, they adopted it. Amen. Around the second century. Amen. Amen. Around 336 A.D. And I'm going to give you a, I'm gonna give you a lesson on that. I know you've heard of B.C. And AD. Right. Mm -hmm. And you believe that BC means and AD means that's not what it means. Yeah. Yeah. That's not what AD means. The year of our Lord. It is not about his death. AD talks about his birth. Mm -hmm. AD is the year of our Lord. So BC is dealing with everything that happened before Christ came onto the earth, on the scene. Okay? A.D. was everything that happened after he was born and came into the, oh, the earth. Everything changed. Amen. Amen. And from the very beginning, that's what the enemy wanted to do was destroy anything that had to do with Jesus. Amen. With weapons of mass distraction. Oh, weapons of mass distraction. Not destruction. All you got to do is distract you. Yeah. He wants to take your attention off of Jesus. Yes. That's why you have uh, the Christmas trees and, and, and all the silver and gold and, and the huge tied carols and all these things. He, he used all of that stuff as a weapon to distract us. Amen. Amen. He waged all our war on Christmas. Why? Because he waged all our war on Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jesus is the only reason for the season. Amen. I want you to, we got to know that. Okay? Now look, what he did is first Satan mixed the sacred with the profound. I told you that, right? Mm -hmm. When he adopted in Christ's birth on the 25th of December, you know, people say, well, it was too cold. Okay, all that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is he was born. Amen. Amen. I don't care when it was. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And since the second century, they've been celebrating on the 25th of December. So I don't know about you, but that works for me. Amen. It works for me because there's a spirit about Christmas. Yes. Amen. And Satan can't do nothing about it. Amen. Now he did that, but that wasn't enough. 
So because people, born again believers, were still worshiping God in spirit and in truth, Say, so said, you know what? We can't have no more of these nativity scenes put up. Mm. You remember that? Mm -hmm. They told you, you got to take down your nativity scene. Why? He wasn't born on the 25th of December. What difference does it make? Mm. Right? Oh, he's still bothered. Why? Because we worship in, the, in spirit and in truth. Amen. Then he said, that's not enough. You know what? We need to get rid of the word Christ out of Christmas mm -hmm. and do Xmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. yeah. Well, he wasn't born on December 25th. Why, why does it bother you, Satan? Mm -hmm. Well, because it's still, they still honor him and they still talk about the birth of Jesus Christ. It's not working. And then he said, well, 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 well what are we going to do now? Uh, we, we can't have nobody praying in Jesus' name. We, we, we just have to stop. As a matter of fact, we can't say Merry Christmas no more. What we're going to do is say Happy Holidays. Mm -hmm. See, it's all the work of the devil. Mm -hmm. Why does any of this bother anybody? Because it's a spiritual battle. Amen. People don't understand. We're just pawns. This is a battle between good and evil. Yes. Amen. Amen. He do not want you to even focus on the birth of Jesus. And I'm going to tell you why before I end this message. Amen. Amen. But he came up with the Christmas tree and he commercialized Christmas people going in debt. The pastor said it best. The reason a lot of people are depressed at Christmas is because they've lost a lot of loved ones. Come on. Mm -hmm. And Christmas just reminded them that they're going to have it alone. That they, they can't share with their loved ones, kids, spouses, whatever it is. Others uh, are depressed because they don't have enough money to do what the world tells mm -hmm. them they need to be doing. Why? Because they don't know the reason for the season. Amen. They are caught up in man's traditions. Amen. 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 So then, that wasn't enough. He said, what I got to do is I got to replace Jesus with Santa Claus. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where did he come from? Where did, okay, I'm going to tell you. Amen, amen. It wasn't a pagan uh, foundation he came from, but Satan used whatever he could. He needed to get rid of Jesus at Christmas. So he came up with this big, fat, white guy in a red and white suit with a pretty hat on with a ball on the end of it. And it came from a guy named St. Nicholas, born in southern Turkey around two. 80, 80. Mm. He was way back in the day. He was a bishop in the early church. He was persecuted, amen, amen. for his faith in Jesus Christ. And coming from a wealthy family, what he used to do, that he was known for his generosity to the poor. Mm -hmm. And what he would do was go around and give money to the poor. He would bring presents to the poor. Amen. And some people said what he did was he threw, he would throw money into people's window. And one time some gold fell on some socks that was being dried by the fireplace. Mm. And that's why they started hanging their socks mm. over the mat. <laughs> Amen. That's exactly what happened. Wow. Amen. The kids say, look, maybe he's going to bring some gold. Put a sock up there. Put, put your socks up there. Amen. But the legend has it that, <laughs> look, in honor of his passing, okay, on December 6th, was declared St. Nicholas Day. As time went on, each European culture they just start adapting it. The St. Nicholas, St. Nicholas. Amen. In the Swiss and German cultures, then it came down to Christ kind. Okay? Christ kind or Chris Kringle. You remember that? Yeah. Okay. Christ child. That's what that means. And uh, it's accompanied, and amen, Sis Chris Kringle was accompanied by St. Nicholas. Amen. To deliver presents uh, to well-behaved children. <coughs> See, that's why they get up. Uh, you know, you know, uh, uh, you better not cry. You better not cry. Remember? <laughs> you better not cry. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming. Not Jesus. Not Jesus. Santa Claus is coming to town. Mm. Now look, they, he had to parallel him with Jesus. Mm. So he said he's making a list. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he's checking it twice. Uh -huh. He's going to find out. Who's not <laughs> Santa Claus is coming to town. Mm -hmm. Amen. He knows when you're sleeping. Yeah. And he knows when you're awake. He knows when you've been bad or good. So be good or good. I see you know all about Santa. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> but he was Chris Kringle was known as Center Claus. That was the name. Center Claus. 
For and for the record, that was a shortened version version of a Nicholas. Okay, this is where we got our name Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. All right, so you know that now. It was a, it was a real thing. It happened, but it was a trick of the devil. Amen. He's trying to replace Jesus. Why? Because he knows he's the only reason for the season, and he wanted to to to, to distract us. And get us to stop worshiping Jesus. Why? Because he wanted to be worshipped. Mm. The reason I say Jesus is the only reason for Christmas. I'm going to tell you why. First, listen. No Jesus, no healing. Mm. Right? Mm. No Jesus, no redeemer. Mm. No Jesus, no deliverer. Mm. No Jesus, no savior. No Jesus, no Christmas. Mm. No Christmas, no hope. Mm. Let me say that again. Yes. A.D. was not about Christ's death. No. It was about his birth. Amen. When he came into the world. Why? Because he came as a savior. Amen. He said, I'm going to call his name Jesus. Right? right. And he's going to save his people yes. from their sins. Satan knew that, that that foot of that child was going to bruise his head. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So he perverts anything that has to do with Jesus. Look, mm -hmm. but if you don't have no Christmas, you have no hope. Mm -hmm. That's why I celebrate Christmas. All right. Why? Because. Christmas brought me hope. Amen. 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 Look what it said. Without Jesus, there would be nothing. Amen. No hope. Because nothing would exist Amen. without Jesus. Including you and I. Amen. If there was no virgin birth, mm. Mm, the earth would still be void and without form. Amen. Amen. Let me say it again. You said, well, Pastor. How can you say that? Because St. John 1 and 1 said in the beginning mm -hmm. was the Word. Yeah. Yeah. The Word was with God. The Word was God. Was God. Mm -hmm. And the Word, look, the same was in the beginning with God. Mm -hmm. All things were made by Him and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life and that life was the light of men. Verse 14 says, and the word was made flesh. Mm -hmm. Jesus was born in a manger. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Wrapped in swallowed in clothes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And dwelt among us and we beheld the glory of the only begotten Son of Father, the Father, full of grace and truth. Amen. God wrapped himself. Y'all remember when he said I looked hot? Right. And Lord, yeah. and I what? I couldn't find nobody. Yeah, amen. He said, but I can't give up. No. Right. So if I'm going to do it, I got to do it myself. Yeah. So he wrapped himself in flesh. Yeah. Amen. And amen. came from heaven down to save his people, his amen. creation. Amen. amen. The very existence of the world and everything in it is hinged on Jesus. Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. Christmas is important. Yes. Amen. I don't care if you celebrate it in on leap year. I don't care when you do it. Just do it. Why? Amen. Because he said he brought us good tidings of great joy. Yes. He Amen. said unto all people. Yes. Why? Because we was lost. Yes. Amen. And we needed to be found. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. We needed a savior. We we we, we didn't have no way out. Amen. 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 Jesus is the true reason. He's the only true reason for the season. Because if there was no Christmas, mm -hmm. there would be no hope of eternal life. Amen. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. We wouldn't have no hope. Amen. So yeah, we need to celebrate Christmas. Amen. 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 Our very being is hinged on the birth of Jesus. Look, no other event in history is more important. Amen. You said, well, his death, burial, resurrection, he couldn't die and be resurrected if he wasn't born. Amen. 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 He needed to get here. Amen. And that's why time and space 
evolves around one man. Mm -hmm. Time and space evolves around one man. Mm -hmm. His name is Jesus. Amen. Amen. That one child. Look yeah. at this. We are living in the 21st century. Based on B.C. and A.D. Ain't that right? Mm -hmm. Before Christ, A.D. And then B.C., the year of our Lord, when he came. So that was before he was born and after he was born. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Amen. 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 It means the year of our Lord. That's when he came into the world. So the world clock is set according to the era. The era before and after Christ. Is that right? Yeah, amen. The whole world. Amen. There is no zero mm -hmm. in the system of, 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 of the years of counting. There's no zero. So if you remember, in the Old Testament, it was counting down. Mm -hmm. Amen. See, the earth is only 6,000 years old, around about that. I don't care about these millions and billions. Of, it was a dinosaur. Listen, 6,000 years, as much as you're going to get. Around 1400 B.C. is when the Bible says that Moses was leading the people out of Egypt. Amen. 1400 B.C. 13, 12. 11, 10. It came all the way down to 1 B.C. Amen. And when Jesus was born, it started 1 A.D. Amen. And it began to count up. Mm -hmm. That was over 2,000 years ago. The reason the date is 2023 is because of Jesus Christ. Amen. The whole world is based on this one child. Coming into the world. Amen. Amen. So he's the only reason for the Christmas season. Amen. I don't care what else the devil come up with. And whatever he was doing wasn't working. So he kept trying to just, oh Lord. Got ignorant people telling you you can't do it. And you're worshiping idols and all. The Bible told me don't let nobody judge me and nothing I do. Amen. When it comes to God. Nothing. Amen. Whether I worship on the Sabbath day. Amen. But it counted down, and then it counted up. And we're here today, over 2,000 years later, talking about the baby Come on. that was born in a man, wrapped in swaddling clothes. There wasn't no room for him in the end. Mm -hmm. Amen. That was God's will. Amen. Amen. He didn't want him to go in the end. Mm -hmm. Amen. He want, Why? The angels that came and, and began to sing that, that chorus, couldn't fit in the end. Yeah. They needed to be outside. Yeah. Amen. They couldn't get up in yeah. there. Amen. When they had them shepherds, they, he said, the angel told him, I bring you good tidings of great joy. And then a whole sky full of angels showed up and began to sing. Mm -hmm. Amen. But y'all, what I'm telling you is, is this was preordained. Yes. Amen. The book of Isaiah 7 and 10, God gave them a sign. God told the Ruben, he said, look, ask me for a sign. He said, I'm not going to ask you for no sign. In Isaiah 7 and 10, amen, he said, moreover, Lord spake again unto Ahaz, saying, ask thee a sign of the Lord thy God. Ask it either in the depths of the, or in the heights above. He said, you can ask me in the depths of the earth, or you can ask me to give you a sign of in heaven. He said, just ask for one, I'll give it to you. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, neither will I tempt the Lord. Come on. And God said, I'm going to give you one anyway. He said, he said, hear ye now, O house of David, it is a small thing for you to weary men. He said, but will you weary my God also? Mm, okay? On. With your mess. Amen. God gets weary with our mess. Amen. And he said, therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Mm -hmm. Ain't that right? right? Behold, a virgin. Shall conceive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. And bring and bear a son and shall call his name. <laughs> Amen. 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 This is over 800 years mm. prior to Jesus even coming to the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Seven or 800 years. 
Isaiah 9 and 6, same prophet, said, For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And he sh his name shall be we'll called what? Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father. How is the Son the Everlasting Father? Because the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost are one. I know people don't believe in the Trinity. That's your problem. I'm looking at it right here. Amen. Amen. This is just one place that it verifies. And that's why the Bible declares in Philippians 2 and 9. Amen. See, I told you, they don't want to deal with the name of Jesus. Why? Because there's power in the name. Amen. There's power, power to move mountains power. in the name yeah. of Jesus. There's yeah. power to bind the enemy yeah. in the name of Jesus. He, yeah. he, 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 he said, you better deal with Chris Kringle or somebody. You know what I mean? Santa Claus, <laughs> Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer, anything else. But don't be trying to deal with Jesus. Why? Because I can't deal with him. Mm -hmm. Amen. He said, wherefore God also highly has highly exalted. And giving him a name which is above every name. Mm -hmm. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Say it. Every yes. knee. Hallelujah. The knees of the devil. Thank you, Jesus. Gonna bow. Yes. Amen. Of things in heaven mm -hmm. and things in earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue mm -hmm. is going to confess it. You, you may not want to, but you're going to confess it. Amen. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. That Christ is Lord yes. to the glory of God the Father. Uh, Amen. Hallelujah. Acts 4 and 12. Amen. Acts 4 and 12 tell you. See, you can't get saved without the name of Jesus. Amen. Right. Amen. He said, neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given unto men. Whereby you must be saved. He don't want you dealing with Jesus. So he has to do anything he can to deter us from focusing on the one person that matters in this world. That the whole world is on his time schedule. The whole world is on Christ's time schedule. They say they don't believe in him, but they live it in 2023. Come on. Come on. Amen. And they can't do nothing about it. Amen. We got a historical fact right here in this book. Amen. Amen. Now his name in Greek is Jesus. Jesus only has one name. He don't have no last name. The name is Jesus. Amen. Christ is not his last name. Christ speaks to who he is. Amen. Christ means Amen. the anointed one. That's what Christ means. He, he's not Jesus Christ. He's Jesus the Christ. Jesus the anointed one. Who God promised he would send. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you right now. Joshua, okay? Jesus is a Greek name. Mm -hmm. Joshua is a Hebrew name. Mm -hmm. Yeshua is the same thing. Yes. Amen. But Christ speaks to who he is. Amen. What he is. Mm -hmm. He is the anointed one. Amen. 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 He ain't got no last name. You can say Christ Jesus or Jesus Christ. It's all good. Amen. 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 Saint Luke 4 and 18. St. Luke 4 and 18 and 19 says, And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue. He went to church. People of God, everywhere he was, he went to church. That's what he did. Every time he got the opportunity, if he was in a city, he went to church on the Sabbath day. You see that? Amen. That's 14. Amen. 16. St. Luke 4 and 16. Amen. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Amen. Praise the Lord. That might have been my fault. Where he had been brought up, he went down to the custom was, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day, church, and stood up for to read. They, every time a minister would come in there, they'd give him the book. And, and, and there was delivered to him the book of the prophet Isaiah. Mm -hmm. Seven, eight hundred years now, uh -huh. before his time. 
And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Woo! He's telling them, he said, y'all don't know, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. You see that? Because he's what? Anointed. He's anointed me. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Yes. To preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken heart, right. to Ooh. preach deliverance to the captives, yes. and to recover the sight of the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, yes. to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Mm. <laughs> the Bible says then he gave him the book. Mm -hmm. All eyes was fast on And he just said that. And he said, this prophecy you just heard in the hearing of your ears. He said, I just read it to you. And he was talking about himself. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's look, that's one of the times they just said we're gonna kill him. He he's blaspheming the Lord. He 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 he's saying that the Spirit of the Lord is upon him, he's been anointed by God. I'm so glad. Do you know what? The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Amen. He's anointed me Amen. <laughs> to do the exact same thing that Jesus did. The Spirit of the Lord is upon you. Praise the Lord. He's anointed you. Mm -hmm. Amen. To do everything I just read, to preach the gospel to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, amen, to deliver the captives, let the blind, everything, get the blind sight, we've been anointed. Amen. 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 I'm so glad that God so loved the world oh, yes. that he gave his only begotten yes. son that whosoever believe in him yes. should not perish but have everlasting yes. life. Jesus is the true reason, the yes. only reason for Christmas. Yes, he is. He's the only reason. Everything else is a shadow of things that come to the Bible saying. It's a waste of time. Amen. 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 Simply because without him, we would all be lost. Amen. If he hadn't been born of a virgin, well. laid in a man. Mm. Amen. Amen. If that star had not been up to just as God prophesied. Amen. Amen. Zechariah, this is the last text right here. Zechariah 4 and 6. Because with the Son, with Jesus, came the spirit of Christmas. See, this thing is a spiritual battle. It always has been. But we keep wanting to fight one another. He said, you're wasting your time. Paul said it's like fighting the wind. Mm -hmm. It's a losing battle. You can't fight the wind. Amen. So we need to let the Lord use us to fight this battle. But he said... Then the answer, he answered and spake unto me, saying, this is when he told the prophet Zechariah, he said, this is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, not by might, nor yeah. by power, but by my spirit, uh -huh. says the Lord of hosts. Uh -huh. God is saying that everything that is being done in this world, <clears throat> every battle that's being fought, and one is fallen in the spirit. Yes. When Jesus was born of the virgin, he brought the spirit of God. He, you see what he said? The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Amen. God himself coming down. Emmanuel. God with us. Mm -hmm. He said he sent me and has anointed me to bless you. Amen. Amen. And so when Christmas time comes, and people are struggling and all of that, we, it's up to us to make sure we help them to understand and our children the true reason for the season. Amen. 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 It's time out for Chris Kringle and Santa Claus. <laughs> I remember I preached at the other church, boy, they, them people were so mad at me, they said, you just a mess Christmas up for my kids. <laughs> How you going to tell them? And I say, look, get over it. Amen. First of all, you grow up. Amen. 
You see what I'm saying? Stop leading your kids. Well, it don't hurt. Yes, it don't it hurt. Yes, it does. If you telling them that Santa is coming to town mm. and Jesus is not born in a manger, then no, you messing your kids up. Amen. Not me. Yeah. Amen. Because all of that was a trick of the enemy mm -hmm. to distract yes. us mm -hmm. and get us from focusing on the real meaning of Christmas. And like I said, if you want to buy your kids some toys, go ahead. You won't, you, I ain't got no problem with it. I won't judge you. Don't judge me. Because I ain't buying nobody nothing. <laughs> Not one solitary thing. Amen. 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 I'm like Mariah Carey. Me and my wife, all I want for Christmas is you. Amen. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And all Jesus wants for Christmas. It's you. Amen. So you ain't got to go try to buy me nothing on my birthday. My birthday is October 9th. If you want to get me something then, bring it on over there. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we want to thank God yes. for Christmas. Yes. Yes. And the devil is a liar. Yes, he is. And the father of liars. Yes, he is. Amen. Amen. You got you a Christmas party gone to it. Don't drink too much. Amen. Deacons, you only can have a little wine. <laughs> Amen. Amen. He said, I, I can't have no wine, but he didn't say nothing about no cabasa yet. No, I'm just <laughs> Look, we want to thank God. <laughs> People watching, that was a joke. <laughs> I don't drink at all. Praise at Jesus. All. Amen. 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 Because I don't want to cause nobody to stumble. But, you know, if you want to have your little wine or whatever, just go ahead. Amen. Amen. But all I'm saying is don't let no man regale you, don't let no man judge you in anything. Why? Because you belong to God. Amen. He's your master. Amen. 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 And he receives us just like we are. Yes. Amen. Yes. And when ignorant people don't understand the scriptures, all we can do is pray for them. So I'm actually, I'm so that's that that's right there. That's it. Jesus is the only reason for the Christmas season. Amen. 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 God bless you. I'm going to give God. Those online and those here today, an opportunity to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. If you have not, according to the Word of God, all you have to do is Romans 10 and 9. Tells you if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised from the dead, thou shalt be. Amen. Amen. Because with the heart, one believes on the righteousness. That's what people in the world don't understand. With the heart, one believes on the righteousness, not the head. And with the mouth, confession is made on to salvation. Jesus said, salvation is close as the words in your mouth. But when you speak them, you have meaning in your heart. That's all he said. And we can hear the words come out of your mouth. But only God knows what's in your heart. Amen. Amen. And if you do that, he promised he'd come in and abide with you. Amen. Amen. So all you got to do is say, Father God, I'm a sinner. I've sinned against you. I repent of my sins in the name of your son, Jesus. Father God, I believe Jesus Christ is your son. I believe he died on the cross. For my sins and the sins of the whole world. I believe that he was dead and buried. And on the third day, I believe you raised him from the dead. I believe according to your word, according to the Holy Scripture, if I die, I believe it in you, Lord Jesus. In my heart, that on my last day, you will raise me from the dead. Lord Jesus, I invite you into my heart. Holy Spirit, I give you control of my life. And Father, I ask that you save my soul in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. According to the word of God, not me, if you made that humble confession, Christ has come to reside on the inside of your heart. I pray that you will find a good Bible teaching church. Put up our information, please. Or you can go to Solid Rock Ministries and contact us. We'll be glad to give you some literature to help you new life in Jesus Christ. May God richly bless you. And we are standing. We are all